to 5.3. It says f of x is equal to this, and we're supposed to find the antiderivative. So the derivative of sine is cosine, so capital F of x would be 2 sine x minus, and the derivative of cosine is negative sine, and this has the negative, so this must have been 9 cosine x, because the derivative of cosine is negative sine, plus c. Uh, number 8, uh, the integral of e to the x has to be e to the x because the derivative of e to the x is the same thing. So capital, the antiderivative of f of x will be the antiderivative of this, which is going to be just e to the x. And this is going to be plus 4 cosine x, just like this was 9 cosine x, plus c. 24 is a little trickier here. Square root of z is z to the 1 half, and we've got subtraction in the numerator, so we can split that up. So we can have the integral of 12, and if it's z to the 1 half in the denominator, it becomes z to the plus minus 1 half in the numerator. minus the integral, and then we'd have z to the 1, and times z to the negative half becomes z to the half. So if we find the antiderivatives of these uh, would be uh, 12, and if I got to raise this power by 1, it becomes a half, and dividing by a half means times 2 z to the 1 half. Then we have minus. And if I raise this by 1, it becomes 3 halves. If I had divide by 3 halves, it's like multiplying by 2 thirds z to the 3 halves plus c. This one, we have to remember that the derivative of secant is secant tangent. The constant comes out, so we just get 12 secant x plus c. So this is where you got to remember the derivative of secant is secant tangent. 30. Chain rule here would create a 7, um, but... The derivative of what is sine? Well, the derivative of negative cosine x is sine x, but we want um, to have it to be 7x. So then we have to divide by 7 so that the derivative of cosine is of 7x is um, derivative of cosine is negative sine, and so this is negative, make it plus. It'd be of 7x times the derivative of the inside times the 7, which would cancel the 7 and make it sine of 7x plus c. Secant squared is the derivative of tangent. So this is going to be the tangent of 3z. But then if I took the derivative of this, it'd be secant squared of 3z times a 3. We don't have the 3, so we have to divide out the 3. We do have a 25, so we've got to carry that along. And then plus C. Now it says on this one to take the derivative of this and show it comes out to be this. Well, the derivative of some quantity, you take the power down, so this should become... Um, We take n plus 1 down and drop the power by 1, which would be ax plus b to 1 less than one n plus 1 is just n. Chain rule says times the derivative of the inside, which is an a, 
plus the derivative of a constant is zero. This cancels, those cancel, and I get what I'm supposed to. Okay, the derivative of the function y is this, so the integral, that would be negative cosine of 2z, but then we'd have to have a divide by 2. And when we put pi over 4 in, see, um, we'd have to put, uh, let's see here, um, pi over 4 times 2 is pi over 2. Cosine of pi over 2 is 0, and 0 divided by 2, which should be 0, so we'd have to go plus 4 to make it equal the y of pi over 4 would be equal to 4. So this is what y would be. The, this one, the integral of e to the negative t is e to the negative t times the derivative of negative t, which is negative 1. And so we have to divide by it, but dividing by negative 1 is the same as multiplying it. And when we put 0 in, we're supposed to get 0. Well, if I put 0 in here, e to the negative 0 is e to the 0, which is 1 times negative 1. This would be negative 1, but we're supposed to get 0, so it would be plus 1 would make this be y. 64. If this is the second derivative, then the first derivative would be Raise the power by 1 and divide by that, that power. So this would be x to the 4th over 4 minus, raise this by 1, so it would be x squared, and over 2 would cancel the 2, so it would be just x squared. And if we put in 1, we're supposed to get 0. If I put 1 in here, I get 1 fourth minus 1, which is minus 3 fourths, so I'd have to have plus 3 fourths. And that would be f prime of x. Now to go to f, I'd have to integrate this. So I would raise this by that by 1, which would make it 5, and divide by it. So I'd have uh, f of x equal to x to the fifth over 20. Raise this by 1, it would be 3, and divide by 3, so it would be minus x to the 3rd over 3, plus rate the, the opposite of the derivative of this, the antiderivative of that would be 3x over 4. And if I put in 1 in this, I get 1 20th. minus one third plus three fourths and this is supposed to be two well how much is this uh so i guess the common denominator might be 60 so three sixtieths minus twenty 60th uh, plus 45 60th, 15 times 4 is 60, so times 15. So I've got 45 minus 20 is 25 plus 3, 28 60th, 28 60th, but I'm supposed to have 2. So I need 120, so I need to add to this um, 92. Okay. This one, if I integrate cosine, I get um, sine. The derivative of the sine is cosine. And when I put in pi over 2, which is sine of pi over 2 is 1, I get 1, which is what it's supposed to be. So that's it. I don't have to add anything to it. And then doing the antiderivative of that, f of theta would be 
negative cosine theta. And if I put pi over 2 into this, I'm supposed to get 6. Well, cosine of pi over 2 is 0. So I got minus 0. So it'd have to be plus 6 to come out to be 6. And the last one here, it says, if the acceleration is 3t to the 1 half meters per second squared, then the velocity would be the integral of that. So integrating that, I would take um, raise the 1 half to 3 halves. So it would be t to the 3 halves. So I'd have to divide by 3 halves, which means multiply by 2 thirds. And so the 3's would cancel, and I get 2. And I'm supposed to put something in here, so this comes out to be 4 at initial, and when t is 0. So 0 to that times that is 0, so I have to have plus 4. So then the displacement uh, distance curve would be the integral of this. So I'm going to raise this by 1, so that'd be from 3 halves to 5 halves. And it'd be times 2 fifths, divide by 5 halves, or times 2 fifths, so it'd be 4 fifths. Plus, raising this, it'd be uh, 4 t. And if it starts at 0, putting in 0, I get 0. So I add zero. So there's the dis displacement or distance equation. And that's that section.